set up the CPU block right there. Look at that 6700K sitting all pretty. Yeah, I can hold the Thanks. block. Uh, did you put um, thermal paste on? No, I wanted you to do that. <laughs> wow, okay. Well, I mean, that would heat up the water a bit quicker, don't you think? Filtered water. Turkey. Okay, uh, let's just double check that everything's tight and closed, just to make sure that we don't get a big leak. Okay. Uh, just check the fittings. Yeah, okay, water leak in there. Looks like it's working. My concern now is, do you think when I pull this out, it's going to overflow because of the height of everything, or...? No, it should be fine. Here we go. Paper towels. That was really badly done. Actually, uh, should we maybe even just test this then? Uh, that way. Test this. I think that's probably the best way to even just do this. It's like... It's going to be super hot when you do it, though. Okay. That looks good. It looks like you can pull this out too. Pull it out. Let's close this again. And then get to overclocking the 6700K. All right. And make some heat. Well, first we have to install the GTX 1080. That's true. What is a coffee machine without a 1080? A console. Okay, cool. 1080 installed. Perfect. Okay. All right. Um, Power's in, 1080's in. All right, now we need to hook it up to a screen and get to you check for leaks. I'm gonna work on getting this thing overclocked. Is it just on that one fitting? It's just this fitting so far that I can see, but I'm just double checking because okay. if anything goes on CPU wise, we stop immediately. Right, all cores. Uh, I'm gonna go. What's its current time? Normal idle. 20? Yeah, 20, 27. We're fine. Okay. Let me see if all the other voltages adjust, and I'm gonna go to 48 straight off the bat. So I'm gonna just see if it even boots at this. Okay, yeah, we're running at 4.8 gigahertz. I'm actually now we're at 33% or 34C. Um, I'm gonna bump this up to 49 and see if it. So what's the reason for overclocking? We need to heat up the water so that it actually makes coffee. Duh. All right. Uh, I think we're stable at 4.9. 4.9, it hit 40 degrees. Okay, let's boot. All right, uh, so we're gonna go into IDA 64, just to measure temps and also to do the stress test. We're running 4.89 gigahertz. All eight threads. All eight threads. Yep, all cores. All right, uh, reporting. Uh, we're sitting at like 36C, so let's, yeah, let's just stress the CPU only, because we're just trying to heat up the water and not trying to actually set any records here. This isn't right. This isn't hot enough. Okay, but now that's the CPU temp, not the water temp. Correct. So get your... Yeah, let me get my thermal gun and thermal see. Thermal gun. Okay, we're at 70 degrees. It's been running for over a minute now. Let's actually open that up and check the temperature in there. All right, the water is room temp, so 23C. Um, I think it's probably gonna take a while. We're at 4.8, 4.9 gigahertz. All right, we are just at 38 minutes of this stress test. The CPU is at 86 degrees. It's been slowly climbing over that duration. If we look at the water temperature, it is just at 38 degrees Celsius, depending on where I place the heat thermometer, which isn't quite hot enough to make our coffee just yet. So we'll have to hold off for a little bit longer, but hopefully we'll get some higher temperature increases. Okay, we need the funnel, and then we need the coffee. All right, actually, let's check the temperature first, just to get a decent indication. 47 and a half degrees. That's not as hot as we want it, but let's get some coffee mixing in there. Okay, it's starting to I think it's because it's uh, clogging at the bottom. Oh, yeah, true. I don't think we should use a funnel. No. Funnels. Oh, dude. Just spoon it, Byron. Uh, 
Oh, this is so dirty. But yeah, that looks that looks like coffee in there. It's sticky. We don't need it to be boiling. We just need it to be at like, what's the good drinking temperature? Probably somewhere between 60 and 80, I would think. Well, look, let's look it up because I'm sure it's like a scientifically determined point. Like the perfect cup of coffee kind of thing. Yeah. So what I want to do is get a you straw. Have some form of a straw syringe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The kids have a straw. How's it taste? Not at all strong enough. Okay, so we're gonna add some more. I mean, it tastes like coffee, but like weak, super weak. Okay, we've been running the stress test for two hours and seven minutes at this point, and it's just begun to thermal throttle at the 98 Celsius mark. Some thermal throttling going on, it dropped down to like 4.5 at one point, but not completely so. Checking the temperature on the coffee. We are at a very respectable, come on, 50-ish degrees over here. What are you here? 46. That's nearly drinkable. It is, this is a dark, dark coffee. Good job, Byron. You made it super dark. Are you proud of yourself? How does it feel to be the console peasant? All right, we are at 99 degrees Celsius. We are thermal throttling quite heavily, which is a good thing, which I think is perfectly drinkable temperatures. Byron, I think it's time to film the PC Master Race way of eating breakfast, don't you? Definitely, good luck, man. Is this the worst coffee you've ever had? Kind of. Come try it, try that. <laughs> it's bad, eh? I'm gonna finish it. We did not make that loop without me finishing this. That tastes like pool water. Poop pool water. <laughs> Hold on. I can't finish this coffee. It's so bad. I don't know. Maybe I can. No, I can't. So the PC coffee making experiment is over. It took just over two and a half to three hours to get the water up to a temperature of like 60 degrees Celsius so that we were able to even actually drink it. And then secondly, it tasted awful like we expected it would, it tasted like metal, which makes total sense because of all the copper and everything that's within a water cooling loop. So turned out the way that we expected, was really bad. Don't do this at home. It was just a fun little experiment for a fun little short video, but now it's time to drain the coffee out of the loop. Oh, that, oh, it's still fine. 